What up, Adventure Family? Angie here from Get Out There Magazine, and today we are checking out Canada Goose's Glacier Sneaker. This is the low version in the sundial color, which is so fun. So let's put it to the test. These are the latest hiker and trail shoe coming from Canada Goose. They're made in Europe and they're 100% breathable and 100% waterproof. And so far, they have been. Call me crazy, but I do like the look of these trail shoes and it's set to be inspired by actually windblown drifts. Hmm. This is the low model, so it doesn't have a lot of ankle support, but they do have a model with a higher collar and a little bit like a sock collar and a zipper. So if you need that extra ankle support or you like the higher look, check those out. They come with two sets of laces, one a reflective round lace and a flat lace, which I think is actually pretty genius because there are definitely people, I might be one of them, that are not a fan of round laces. Me, round laces do not hold a tie very well. So you get flat ones too. It does have a heel pull tab where you can tighten the overall fit of the laces, which is interesting. You don't see that. It is functional, but do I think it makes a big difference? No. The other thing that I do like is that it does have a heel flare to help with stability and that heel flare has a little slit in it. The point of that slit is to minimize the kickback on your calf from water and mud. And I really like to see those little small but smart designs coming into footwear, especially at this price point and from a luxury brand. I also was told that these would be good to use into minus 10 conditions if you pair it with a wool sock. I haven't used it in minus 10. I've used it in about zero because that's what the temperature has been lately. And my foot stayed warm, but again, that's really dependent on the fit um, because you'll need space for that wool sock. So I think it's time we talk about sizing. And to be perfectly honest, the sizes are whack. Now, I attribute this to it being only the second year that Canada Goose is in the shoe game, and they haven't quite perfected sizing. So normally I'm a seven and a half or eight, depending on the brand. With Canada Goose, I tried on the eight, my foot was swimming in it, went to seven and a half, so tight, like blisters. <laughs> blisters and sore toes. I can't articulate this enough. Please, before buying these shoes, try them on. What do I like about these shoes? Great question, because it sure ain't the fit, but I think I like that they're waterproof, but that's pretty standard. Um, I think they've done a great job when it comes to traction. They have multi-directional tread, which has been slip resistant and great stability with that. Um, and I also like the look. The look is fun in that True Canada Goose out there chunky look and i think they've also done a great job with the rubberized leather covering the outer sole that really will help the shoes last a long time but is it worth the price point which is 4.95 canadian simply put no they have potential but in my opinion they're not quite there yet it may not be the shoe you take on a big backcountry hiking trip, but where I think it could be utilized is if you're a city slicker, but also like your time in nature and going out for hikes, but not necessarily something that I would take in the backcountry with me. There you have it. That's all I got for you. For more gear review videos, you know what to do. Check out the other videos on this channel. And until next time, don't forget to get out there. Maybe in Canada Goose, maybe not. See ya.